In this video, I will talk to you about the home screen of TubeRank G3, all the options available there and their significance. So the first option we have over here, right over here is type a keyword. And that's where you put in your root keyword, the one keyword that you want to work with, that you want to rank with using TubeRank G3. And this keyword should be something that's related to your niche. And if it's a very general keyword, then you can expect to have tough competition ranking. But if it is narrow, if it is something that is uh, very specific, the more specific you get, the easier it becomes to rank. And that's a general view. So you enter your keyword over here. For example, I've been using this one. So you enter the keyword. And the next thing you have is exact match. Now, if you turn this option on, TubeLang G3 will... Uh, we'll search for this keyword using the exact match pattern, which means that it will ask YouTube to make sure that YouTube looks for the exact phrase in question, the exact entire phrase. The so YouTube will not then look for individual phrase parts of the phrases and YouTube will make sure that whatever video returns, it has that phrase uh, in the title or in the description. Now, this is something you don't want to do often because exact match means the results will be limited and they will not truly reflect the real rankings inside youtube inside uh, the search so we don't really do need that but sometimes in specific cases you might need it so then you can use it and the next thing we have is the number of videos to analyze so if your phrase is quite general you might want to do a lot of analysis uh, you know maybe 50 videos or maybe 100 videos depends on what you're doing here now what happens is when you select the number of videos, TubeRank G will, will talk to YouTube and get details of all those videos. So the more number of videos you select, the longer it takes. But the advantage is TubeRank G will get the data, the statistics and the tags, etc. from all of those videos, which means you have a wider variety. And depending on your internet speed, I think it's better to pick up a lot of videos. Typically I use at least 50, sometimes I go for 100. If I want to do a lot of keywords, if I want to do a lot of tags, then I go for 100. But typically anything 50 is good, even 20 or 10 can also be good. So select the number of uh, keywords you want to work with and then you are ready to click go and actually go to the analysis itself.